as Florida State prepares for LSU, it's no secret the person swinging the hottest bat in Omaha is Dylan Busby. And we say bat for a lot of reasons, one for which it's the only bat he's Dylan used in college. For three years, Dylan Busby has used the exact same bat. I've never used a different metal bat ever. So, uh, you know, some people say it's dead. I like to think it's wide awake. It's kind of amazing that his bat's been held intact for that long, honestly. As much as he hits and goes in cages and puts in work, and it's just, it's kind of amazing, honestly. And, uh, you know, if, if you look at the bat, almost all the paint's chipped off it. And it looks old and ratty, but, I mean, whatever works. I mean, if he keeps hitting the way, then I'll let him use whatever he wants. He uses a sword for all I care. That's a, a bit extreme. I've seen guys use the same bat all year, but not for three straight years. Um, I can't believe it continues to pass inspection. So, because generally they get dented up, and when they dent, they won't let you use them in the postseason. So, um, pretty amazing that it's still hanging on. It's got a little bit of paint left. I definitely think it should have failed at some point. Uh, I don't know how it doesn't. Everyone thinks it should have, but uh, you know, if it did not pass, I'd kind of be, I'd probably cry a little bit. I mean, <laughs> I'd be a little upset. There's no question the Knowles wanted this second chance against the Tigers. Now that they have it, they hope to take advantage of it. Definitely, we want to get another crack at them. We have some unfinished business, and uh, just want to come out tomorrow and play some good baseball. I think we're looking forward to playing better. I think that's uh, every game you, you, you run into different situations, and uh, I think our guys are, are looking forward to competing, whether we had won the game or the fact that we lost the game. It's the Knolls and the Tigers, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central on Wednesday. Florida State will be the home team. Make sure you check out all of our coverage leading up to that one. We've gone behind the scenes with Matt Henderson, mic'd him up for practice. You don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss anything that Tim Linnefelt has written as well. It's all there, all you can see on Seminoles.com and on social media. That'll wrap up things for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.